Today's video starts from this small monument lost in the middle of Alps Valley. We are in the municipality of Domodossola, in Piedmont, northern Italy. This monument was placed in the 1920 to celebrate one of the greatest events in the history of aviation, the first flyover Alps done in 1910. The protagonist was Jorge Chavez Dartnell known as Gio Chavez, a Peruvian aviator born in Paris in 1887. In 1909 he became engineer in Paris and obtained a flight license in Reims. It was the year in which Blériot, for first, crossed the channel with a Blériot 9th, captivating the world's interest and stimulating many young pilots to new adventures. Gio Chavez was among them. In August 1910, with a Blériot 11th, broke the record of altitude flying at 1,647 meters above Blackpool in England. The record was shot down by himself a month later with an altitude of 2,700 meters. Today we are used to space flights. Accordingly, speaking about crossing the Alps with an airplane might seem ridiculous. But not at that time. Wright brothers had made their first powered flight 1903, just seven years before. To understand the difficulty of this project, I moved from Domodossola to Milan International Airport of Malpensa. Here there is one of the most beautiful aviation museums in Italy, Volandia, where one of the few Blériot 11 still existing is kept. The aircraft was produced starting from 1909 and presented great innovation if compared to competitors. First, it was a monoplane, wings made by canvas, 8 meters wingspan and concave convex airfoil. The 7 meters long fuselage was a single wooden beam partially covered in canvas. For the first time there was a amortized landing gear. The weight of the plane was 345 kilos when empty. Rudder was for the first time controlled by pedals. The vertical stabilizer was part of the empennage. It was equipped with a single 50 horsepower rotary gnome engine with a top speed of 90 kilometers per hour. This engine with minimal revisions remained in use until 1918 becoming the great protagonist of the aerial duels of First World War. The technological advancements of this aircraft are even more evident if we compare Blériot with this Caproni CA-1. They were contemporary. It was a balsa and canvas biplane equipped with a 25-horsepower engine. Now, let's come back to 1910, the year of Gio Chavez's records. That year, the Italian Air Club created a contest for the first fly over the Alps. Eight pilots had already attempted the flight without success. On September 23, 1910, Gio Chavez took off from Brig, in Switzerland, and flying over the Simplon Pass, he reached Italy 51 minutes later. Unfortunately, during the landing in Domodossola, a structural problem caused the aircraft's wings collapse. The airplane fell from an altitude of about 30 meters. The accident was probably due to strong winds over the Flesjorn Glacier, and the high speed reached during landing. The pilot was injured and immediately transported to the San Biagio Hospital in Domodossola. Here, he received the visit of the Italian Air Club's president who officially declared him the contest winner. He died for hemorrhage four days later. His last words were Ariba sempre Ariba. Starting from these words the famous Italian poet Giovanni Pascoli wrote. He falls with his great soul, always climbing, and now he flies. Gio Chavez's adventure had a huge impact on media inspiring generations of younger aviators that will attempt ever more brave ventures. Among them for example Cesar Suglia that for first crossed Italy three years later always with a Blurio 11th. Alcock and Brown crossed the Atlantic Ocean in 1919. Arturo Ferraran will flight from Rome to Tokyo in 1920. Leaving this abandoned monument in a field, I continue to think to this young boy that at only 23 years became a legend. After his death, he was buried in Paris at Pierre Lachaise Cemetery. In 1957 was repatriated as a national hero and buried in a mausoleum in the center of Lima. Today the Lima airport bears his name. Did you know this story? I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, and want to hear from me again, please consider to hit that like and subscribe button before you go. Don't forget to visit my social networks. See you at the next video.